problems with that? Okay. Guess what? We're still going to be alive <laughs> after 2012. Okay? That's amazing, but it's true. But the thing is, 2012, um, unfortunately, I even have children coming up to me, and they're practically in tears and scared to death that they're going to die. Everybody in their family, not them, but their family is going to die in 2012. And that's why I'm doing 2012 now. And 2012 is actually, um, I will tell you, the energy has not come in. The energy is coming in next weekend. It's the 14th and 15th of March. It's going to come in. And you will feel it. The ones who are sensitive, you're very um, placentient. Do you feel things? The one eating the pizza. Do you feel things? <laughs> trying to make me hungry here. Do you feel things emotionally? Do you feel like people, when you interact with people, do you feel them? Do you connect with them emotionally? No? <laughs> Men, they always deny their emotions. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, that's what happens. But basically, you'll feel it. The people who are really into this and can feel it, you will feel a shift, a major shift happen on that 14th, 15th. That is when the 2012 energy is coming in, okay? You are <coughs> going to see, now, the earthquakes are nothing to what? Regarding that one, I actually did a lot of predictions on that, <coughs> but basically, do you, uh, this is all science, it's not me. Every 60,000 years, did you know, I don't know how many of you know this, every 60 or so thousand years, the North Pole becomes mm -hmm. the South Pole, the South Pole becomes the North Pole. Yep. What's happening? It's only the start of that. So if the, the magnetic poles are being twisted, what in heaven's name is going to happen with the Earth? We're already on a loop every time the, uh, we rotate because the, uh, the oceans uh, displace 30% of the water. Did you know that? And making it over? That adds to it. So the rotation of the Earth is being shifted every time. And it shifts the axis. I, I can't remember, a quarter inch or something. Yeah, I, all my classes are based, as a few of you know, in physics. I do a lot of Einstein physics and reality, as well as woo-woo. But the thing is, you connect with woo-woo and you get a lot of answers, right? All right. So basically, you'll see a lot of um, hard-hitting answers to this. But basically, 2012, all it is, is I do, I'm afraid, see a lot of upheaval. Because you've got, not exactly totalitarian, but you've got... Uh, established logic which has been um, really ruling the earth for quite some time and you know old um, thinking all right politics coming into a new wave where there it's going to be far more earth conscious you know and we are we're destroying the earth and if we don't it's already a bit too late on certain on phrase levels but we have to have it turned back <coughs> Um, that's why you're seeing on not even the psychic fairs, but I'm seeing more fairs move out. I mean, really be created. A lot more people are being open classes, even though I'm shutting mine down for a while. There's a lot more people coming in and wanting to know answers, and even the logics. And I'm seeing a lot of men. Um, one guy who owns three businesses used to come to my classes uh, from Phoenix, Arizona, once a month, drive just for the class and go home. So, you know, there are a lot of people out there who are, and one comes from Mexico, for 17 class, no, 18 classes she did, she comes all the way from Mexico. The people want to know, want to get the answers. Um, the mentality, you'll see a lot of people, I hate to say, wanting to end their life, take their life, but it's not because of really issues, you've got a lot of things that aren't sinking. You understand? And when it doesn't sink automatically, we go into what? Fear. Fear is your biggest thing here because we don't know what the answer is. And that's why they're activating a lot of people. Some more than others will give you the truth. Some claim. I'm not going to go there because I can go there, but I won't. <laughs> but you, remember, they choose you. They, your guides will choose you who to go to. Okay? Um, and those are the ones. But remember, whatever happens, nobody should tell you what to do. You should tell yourself what to do. Your own truth is what the bottom line is about, right? Um, and here's one. <laughs>